tonight on Cassidy. Happy Tuesday. Happy National Therapy Animal Day. We only knew that this day had come, this amazing magical day, because of Shannon and the folks at Mountain Peaks Therapy Llamas and Alpacas, because we have Rojo the Llama, Napoleon the Alpaca, here in the studio, just an amazing therapeutic animal duo, and Rojo is singing us a little song. Shannon, what do you call that noise that he makes? It's a hum. It's a hum? He's humming. And you said that actually means, it's not like, oh, he's nervous and he's scared. That actually means that he's comfortable? Yeah, I mean, for Rojo, I know that when he's stressed, he tries to leave the situation. And so um, he hums, he's very relaxed and comfortable. He's been <laughs> everywhere and seen everything, but he's just owning it. <laughs> so this, to me, feels very, very therapeutic because you know it's been a long day at work. We're only into Tuesday, but the sun is out, so it feels like it should be Friday, and I keep remembering, no, it's only Tuesday. But that's actually a real thing. Like, they actually are therapy animals, Yes, right? absolutely. We go off the farm three to five times a week inside adult care communities, special needs schools, um, all over Portland and Vancouver. And so that's I so rotate cool. which animals go off the farm, so they always get lots of rest days, but I tend to go five, six, seven days a week. <laughs> and they have lots of different outfits. Do they like dressing up? Yeah, it's very comfortable. <laughs> we started um, putting outfits on them for parades. And then my mom one time was at an adult community center and she was talking about how Rojo was a reindeer in a holiday parade. And they oh, all yes. lit up so excited about that and asked if he could come back dressed in his outfit. <laughs> so uh, we found it was very therapeutic. It draws people out of their rooms to want to come socialize. Of course. And it helps people realize that this 400 pound animal is actually a pet. Oh my gosh. So, it's I would, very therapeutic. I don't know how much I would have guessed that, that either of them weighed because they just look like fluff. big balls of fluff. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. how often does, like, does Napoleon get a haircut? They both get one haircut each year, right in oh. June, just the first week of June, end of May. Um, Napoleon <laughs> actually, as an alpaca, has three times more hair on his body. So he gets three times more shaved off, <laughs> where Rojo like, gets a barrel cut. Oh my gosh. I feel like every time you say something about Napoleon, Rojo's like, mmm. Yeah. Talk about me because there is actually something big happening for both of them always. But this year, Rojo is actually going to retire. End of the year, yeah. This will probably be his last year as a working animal. And then we're hoping to transition to all of our therapy or a lot of our therapy and education onto the farm. And that way, people can come and love on Rojo at his home and uh, and. The other animals we have, we have six llamas and seven alpacas. Oh my gosh. And they're all so social and wonderful. So many to be friends with and be yeah. therapeutic with. And oh my gosh. And then also, if people, they can meet them in person, but now they can hear them, right? Because there's a podcast. Of course, you can hear them at home right now. Oh my gosh. I think they're getting louder and louder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my best I friend. I think Rojo is like kind of whispering, whisper humming into Napoleon's ear right I now. I call this him my romantic. diva llama. He tries to steal a show everywhere he goes. He totally is. But tell us about the podcast. Yeah, I just launched. Um, me and my best friend and roommate just last, launched our podcast. We're hoping to showcase other unique animals that do good in the world. So locally, we're hoping to showcase uh, Scout the Golden Retriever oh, or we love Scout. Elmo the Mini Horse oh. and his sister Tiny Dancer. They're so amazing. I have not met either of those two. Yeah. I've met Scout the Golden Retriever, but Elmo the Little Horse. Yeah. And we went to an exotic animal zoo in LA um, where they rescue exotic animals that people take as pets and then teach other people why you shouldn't have exotic animals as pets. Mm. And so um, you'll get to like listen and and hear all about those things. Wonderful. Oh my gosh. Okay, do both of them hum or just Rojo? Just Rojo. Uh, it's like it's I can't even tell where the sounds are coming from anymore. It's just this beautiful it's chorus wonderful. of humming. Cassie, if you hug him, you can feel it while he's hug him while he's humming. It feels so soothing. I'm coming in for a hug. Yeah. Soothe me. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, when I first walked in the studio and, and Rojo and Napoleon were over there, I kept thinking someone's phone was buzzing. I'm like, ah, so unprofessional. Someone's phone is on very loud vibrate. No, I know it was you. I'm sorry I gave the credit to somebody's cell phone. Okay, so where do people need to go if they want to actually come meet them? Um, if you go onto Rojo the Llama's Facebook page, I try to keep all of our public events on his Facebook event, events page. So lots of family friendly events. We have a ton booked for summer that aren't released yet on there. So that's the best way to go if you go and you can actually subscribe so you get notifications of the events, then you won't miss out. Does he ever stop humming? Because this is amazing. I keep feeling like he's going to get tired. <laughs> yeah, he does it after 5 o'clock at night like clockwork. He's just like, oh, oh. he has an itchy eye. Yes, Sometimes. and so these <laughs> lovely little things. Are they going to be at the Moda Center for any of the Blazers? Games we were week? hoping to. We were last week. We were hoping to this week, but we are actually going to be supporting Dove Lewis Animal Hospital at their oh, fundraiser so on Friday. Oh my gosh. Um, and so, as well as Art for Life's Motorporium on Friday. So. There they are in front of the Moda Center. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And of course, listen to the podcast <laughs> for the so love of animals. Yeah. And meet all the wonderful animals, hear their stories. Thank you so much, Rojo and Napoleon. You guys are stars. Everyone's on Instagram. You. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> and I will be taking an Instagram picture in just a minute.